Okay, Sam, thank you. Uh, we continue to follow developing news as investigators continue to try and figure out what caused a massive fire at a local dairy farm. Firefighters worked all night to try and get this under control, and now an entire community is coming together to try and help that family pick up the pieces. 19 News reporter Colton Molesky live with this story for us, and this is really tough to see, Colton. Brian, it really is. And I want to show you what that building looks like now in the light of day. You can see right here, this is one of the barns at the Comp Dairy Farm. You can see that the demolition already underway here as they get to work on that building that was burned down last night and that fire moving to several attached buildings as well, I'm told. The family running this multi-generation dairy farm tells me the building was 150 years old. And for them, it's far more than just a barn. Yeah, his grandparents built it in 1885, and it's just gone from generation to generation. There isn't much more Sherry Comp can do now, but look on at the smoldering barn. The fire bringing to the ground a piece of her family's history. My husband would have been devastated. Comp's husband started milking 15 cows. Now the operation has around 2,000 and milks 1,200 and has been handed down to his son and grandson, an operation that took decades to build, gone in seconds. The fire started, Jerry asked me to call 911, and by the time I got them and came out, it just went whoosh. Crews battled the fire through the night. Fortunately, out of the roughly 400 cows in the barn at the time of the fire, only seven were lost. You guys moved a lot of cattle really quick. We didn't have a choice. As for the start of the fire, it's still under investigation. They just said maybe electrical, so we know that they've had two fire marshals here. The thing keeping the farm afloat right now, the kindness of other farmers. Yeah, they've been wonderful. A lot of people from the farming community. Typical farmers. They don't want to see this happen to anybody. Now I'm told this is where they also did a lot of the milking of those cows, which obviously can't happen for one of the biggest dairy farms in this area. They have to get those roughly 1,200 cows that they milk out somewhere else off site and get them taken care of as soon as possible. And I'll tell you about that coming up at five. For right now, outside of Dorset Township, Colt Molesky, 19 News.